just a little bit of a snippet for you guys. From the Patriots camp, I have heard that Christian Gonzalez, the first-round rookie out of Oregon, the defensive back obviously drafted this year in this past NBA draft, uh, or NFL draft, excuse me, um, is looking like he is the best defensive back on the field and one of the best players overall on the field, according to some news outlets uh, that are coming out of the Patriots camp this week. He's looked absolutely fantastic, and it does not surprise me one bit. From everything that I had heard about Christian Gonzalez and everything that I had seen of Christian Gonzalez before the draft had started, um, he is just so unbelievably silky smooth with everything that he does on the field. Um, he makes everything look easy. Athletically, he's very gifted. He's big. He's strong. He's fast. I mean, he's six foot two, like 197 pounds, you know, chiseled. Um, he just, he looks the part. Um, and he always has looked the part and, and that has, uh, so the fact that he has gone out there and essentially made everything look easy, uh, been a fantastic looking athlete that doesn't shock me at all. So it doesn't make, it doesn't surprise me or shock me that he is making early waves at Patriots camp. Also, as I'm sure most of you know, DeAndre Hopkins did visit the Patriots last Wednesday and Thursday. So a week ago, uh, today as of time of recording and uh, no deal was struck at that point, but honestly, I don't think anybody really expected one to be struck before he left. Obviously, we would have liked for uh, a deal to be struck before he left, but obviously, I don't think anybody expected it. Um, from what I heard and what I read, both sides were moving on to kind of not moving on from each other necessarily, but just kind of going their separate ways so that they can each decide what the best course of action would be for their future. Now, I have seen some little tweets and little snippets here and there that DeAndre Hopkins does possibly have some formal offers from the Titans and the Patriots. Obviously, he also visited the Titans uh, last week, maybe early last week, I believe, maybe the week before that. I can't remember. But uh, he visited the Titans before he visited the Patriots. That's the point. Uh, and so I wouldn't be shocked if he had offers from both teams um, and uh, that he was mulling them over or, or deciding if he wants to go with either of them. What I am surprised is that he hasn't visited other teams. Now, he may have visited other teams, and I may have just missed it, I suppose, um, but I have not heard anything regarding uh, DeAndre Hopkins visiting other teams outside of New England and outside of Tennessee, uh, which surprises me if that is the case because I feel like DeAndre Hopkins has... Not necessarily better options, because I always feel like the Patriots are the best option, because as a Patriots fan, I'm biased, and I want DeAndre Hopkins. And I know that out of every team in the NFL, we need him, uh, considering where we're at. We are in, I, I don't think there's really any debate, we are in the toughest division in the NFL. Maybe the NFC East, uh, because the Giants are really good, the Cowboys and the Eagles are all really, really good, and then you got the Commanders. Um, so maybe, you know, 1A and 1B there, so I guess it is a little arguable. But for me, I mean, this year, you know, the Bills are a Super Bowl contender. The Dolphins are going to be much better this year. Uh, and they already almost beat the Bills in the playoffs last year. So they're right up there, playoff contender. And the Jets got Aaron Rodgers this year. And basically, if Zach Wilson wasn't so absurdly incompetent last year, they probably would have made the playoffs relatively easily last year. So that's our division. Um, so it's, it's, it's very tough. And I know we would need a guy like DeAndre Hopkins we need a number one wide receiver. We need a guy who's going to be reliable. We need a guy who's going to be able to catch balls in traffic, stretch the defense, get open pretty much every play, and DeAndre Hopkins fits that bill. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, I don't think there is any, a better fit in the NFL for him, but it surprises me that he's not visiting the Kansas City Chiefs or he's not visiting the Buffalo Bills or he's not visiting the Philadelphia Eagles or, or the Dallas Cowboys or any of these other real big teams that – could use another wide receiver. Not necessarily that they need one, but you can always use more weapons. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think the Eagles need any more weapons. Uh, I think I think they're good uh, over there. They don't, they're, you know, no more. Uh, and then the Chiefs, I mean, you know, they could certainly use another wide receiver. They certainly don't need one. Uh, I mean, they won a Super Bowl last year and didn't really have, outside of Juju Smith-Schuster, they didn't really have a ton of phenomenal wide receivers over there. So, yeah, I mean, I don't think they necessarily need it. I think you got everything you need over there already in Kansas City. So, uh, I'm, I'm surprised he hasn't visited those teams. But, uh, yeah, uh, I don't think he's any better fit than the Patriots. And um, I, I, I do feel good 
if it is true, which I believe it is, that he has not visited any other teams outside of New England and, and then obviously Tennessee, the fact that New England was his last visit makes me feel like he wants to go there. Um, he wants to go to New England, and, and they're just kind of trying to work it out, and I hope that that's the case because I'd love DeAndre Hopkins on the Patriots this year and maybe even in the future. Now, yes, he's injury-prone at times, and that's okay. Um, you know, not every athlete is perfect. So I've always preached your best ability is availability. I absolutely agree with that. However, at this point, beggars can't be choosers. I've been begging for the Patriots to get a number one caliber wide receiver for years, and they just never do it. They refuse utterly. Uh, they cling on to dear life, to the tree of no good wide receivers. Uh, and so even if the guy is injury prone, I don't care. I'd take it. I, I'd 100% take it at this point. So, you know, let's hope it goes through. Let's hope it happens because I would love to see DeAndre Hopkins on the Patriots. So just a couple snippets there for you guys uh, to think about. Uh, those Patriots fans out there, uh, things that I've heard, things that I've seen. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think Christian Gonzalez is going to slide right in to be the number one uh, DB this year? Do you think DeAndre Hopkins is going to sign with the Patriots? Or do you think he's going to sign elsewhere? Or do you think for some reason he's going to sit out this year? I mean, I don't think anybody thinks that, but maybe you do out there in the internet world. So let me know in the comments section below, and I'd be happy to uh, have a conversation with you guys about all that. And uh, we'll see which one of us proves to be right in the end. Hey guys, me again. Thank you so much for watching one of my clips from the Lopes Goes Last podcast. These clips are so much fun to do. I absolutely love making them and I absolutely love doing them. And this podcast is my baby. So I really want this thing to grow and I really want it to succeed. So if you did like what you see, please subscribe. Also hit that bell notification so you never miss any one of my episodes or one of my clips like this one. And please do also like and share these videos with your friends and your family so that we can make this thing grow as fast as possible. And I wanted to thank you again so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great rest of your day.